Hey guys, Ileana Farmer here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thumbs up, subscribe. Welcome back. So, I think I had a little bit too much footage to try to cram everything into one uh, double crop bean planting video. So, you know, I planted for two and a half days and I filmed for two of them. But the second day after we got the rain, um, we had a slow morning because we were letting it dry off, obviously. So I had some things, a little bit of filler, I guess you could say, but it's still farming related. We're putting the combines away. We're putting the draper head away uh, until September sometime when we get them back out. And I explained that in the video, but I didn't really have a good introduction. So this is how we're gonna start this video off right here. Um, first part we're going to be putting some equipment away and then we're going to roll right into double crop beans part two So we're done with wheat. We're just doing a little maintenance, blowing things off. We'll obviously grease everything before we go back out to cut our first crop of beans. But we just got all the wheat chaff and straw blowed off the head. We're gonna go put it up for a little while. Probably come back about September 10th or 15th this year, unless it were to just quit raining. It's gonna be a little bit later than normal, so. This morning before we go try to plant we're just kind of tidying things up while we have a minute bring it on back Paul Paul custom deer 7000 John Deere planter it's uh, it's quite the unit it's equipped with uh, 2020 seed sense Delta Force um, we're planting we can plant with this planter probably I would say we're gonna have singulation at 150%, maybe 160. That's at about, I don't know, 16 mile an hour. <clears throat> it's really nice. Not many guys are running big stuff like this. Go over just a little bit more what we were kind of blowing off. Back here you have a chopper inside this combine. Back here is what chops all the material. So everything you're blowing out the back of this machine, the stuff you don't want, it piles up back here and it gets really, really hot. Well, it's just like having a little campfire on the back of your combine that could be ignited at any point. So, anyways, that's what we do. We try to keep everything kind of cleaned off so nothing can catch on fire. Oh, boy, that feels good. I wonder how he's getting along. Doesn't look shady out there. You 
guys see that? That's where they keep the Diet Coke. I bet Ron comes out. Oh, I was right. We found a little air condition finally today. Uh, I've got the seat tender, if you can see that. Got it on. We're gonna go to the field, see what it looks like. I've got a car in town I need to go pick up from the shop from having a service done to it. So I might go do that first, let it dry off some more, but we've got most of our little projects done this morning and we're headed to the field. What are you doing, Ron? Digging out mud you got in it before I start running it. You're blaming this on me? Well, I mean, it wasn't like this when I had it on. But it was sunny when I ran it. I see. For those who don't know much about planting, this is what you don't want to see. You can see the beans down in this seed trench. Okay, this row should be closed up and have dirt, you know. It should look just like this row, because there's beans down in there. That's a track that I made when it was raining really bad the other day and tried to get out of here. So this was really compacted. The planter was pretty much full. So this should be the only pass that it's gonna do this on. It isn't perfect, I know that, but I mean, that's a pretty good cut up through there and if it gets a rain on it some of this will come up but no not most not most of this out of this row that row that row and that row I mean you can see there's two tire tracks there and two tire tracks there from where I pulled the planter out of here when it was really raining so but other than that I mean these don't look too bad there's a row here and there's a row here and a row there I mean, you can see there, there, and there. There's a little bit. You know, there might be a spot like right there that just isn't close, to, you know, all the way. I mean, there's dirt covered up the seed, but I think we're good to go. There's more rain coming anyway, so. Yep. We have tools out. Oh my goodness. Why are you doing this to me? Anyways. Okay, guys. Here we go. Here's a big, what I call, block. Everything runs into this. Hydraulic hoses. These all have O-rings and electronic sensors on these. And they tell you when they're not working right. So, I just happened to be looking back and saw the tire was wet. Where's my hand? There. And uh, there's a shield that goes here. I've got the shield taken off. Uh, most of the time, it's just one of these. And it's pretty easy to figure out. You just unscrew this whole, it's hot, it's real hot. You unscrew this piece here, and uh, Ron has a big old thing of O-rings. And we'll throw a new O-ring in there and get back rolling. But what it is, is it's, uh, it's one of these, I think it's one of these three. There's a fourth line in there, but see it's all wet. So I don't know if one of these fittings is leaking and I don't want to sit here and unscrew a bunch of them because they're tight. Uh, so I got to have Ron come over here and run the hydraulics for me so I can figure out which one of these it is. And then uh, we'll put a new O-ring in it and hopefully get back to getting something done. Whoo, it's still hot. And that's how you load the planter. It's nice to have bright lights. You can run a lot later. See 
things a little bit better. We're doing pretty good now. There's our acre counter. We've done decent for all the breakdowns and time that you have to take to fill up, so we'll keep plugging away. Just had to go dig out a row unit. All right, guys, so we're just getting finished up here with double crop beans of 2019. You can see I've done a couple population checks. That's why it's green and red, and there's a couple passes that are orange in there. I'm just testing to see what population is best for this time of the year. It's July 1st, so uh, it sounds wild, but you know, we're planting 212, 230, and I did uh, some 245 and 257 I'm doing on this hillside. These beans aren't very, they're never gonna get tall because it's July 1st and they'll probably get a frost on them like they have in the past, but they're not gonna get super big so you have to compensate uh, the tallness of the plant by just throwing more plants out there. That's how you make up your yield. So I'm just seeing if we can get by with lesser of a population. All right guys, that's a wrap. 2019 beans double crop beans are done we're gonna head up here and get in the truck and go home it's 11 20 it's 11 20 so I'd say it's time to go home and go to bed so we can do something tomorrow um, if you guys like the video please subscribe give it a thumbs up let me know what do you guys want to see comment below I'm the Atlanta farmer we'll catch you on the next video.